What's up everybody? My name is Lily Thompson and welcome to my new duplex which is in Tulsa, Oklahoma near what used to be Black Wall Street. is the downstairs unit. This is an upstairs downstairs duplex. So there's separate utilities, separate kitchen, bathroom, separate entrance can be completely separate. I guess you could call them like apartments. And so for this downstairs unit, we're standing in what might be considered the living room just inside the front door. Behind here, there's the dining room and the kitchen. And then on that side of the unit, there's two bedrooms and a bathroom. Now, I considered using this downstairs unit for Airbnb, furnishing it and having short-term guests coming in and out, as that's one strategy that some real estate investors use. But I decided to leave it unfurnished, and it took me about two weeks to find a tenant that would be a good fit, but I officially got their deposit, they signed their lease, and so they'll be moving down here on a 12-month lease while I'm living upstairs. two bedrooms and as you can see it's right off that living room that we were just in. One of my favorite things about this unit are these big double doors and although this is a bedroom and the doors are a little bit see-through it's pretty simple to get just like a curtain to put up there but I really do love those double doors. So this is a two bedroom, one bathroom unit and this restroom separates the two bedrooms. It's got a beautiful cloth foot tub, beautiful vanity, beautiful tile, plenty of storage and it's pretty spacious as well. Now we're in the second bedroom which although smaller is still pretty spacious and leads into the dining room. kitchen right off the dining room and one of my favorite things about this unit is this stained glass that the sellers actually did themselves. They actually purchased this house at a sheriff's sale um, because the house was foreclosed on and it was a wreck. But they fixed it up, they rehabbed it themselves and I honestly think they did an amazing job. Another great thing about this house is that it came with a ton of appliances already. There was already this brand new dishwasher, new oven, new microwave. I ended up getting the fridge and the, um, what is these called? Oh, the laundry machines, so the washer and the dryer. Um, but it's awesome to have these three new appliances, both upstairs and downstairs. They have warranties on them. That's great. I love these butcher block countertops. We've got these glass front cabinets, and I really do just think this is a great kitchen, and it's pretty awesome to have a laundry room right off the kitchen as well. So there's two entrances to both the upstairs and the downstairs unit. The downstairs unit, they can come through the front door or they can come through this back door, which is right off of the driveway, come in, walk right into their kitchen and be good to go. The upstairs unit also has two entrances. I'll show you one of them in a moment, but this staircase off of this back door is the second entrance. So let's go upstairs. So as some of you might know, I travel a ton for work. So this is where I'll be living, but while I'm on the road for extended periods of time, this unit will also double as an Airbnb, which will just bring a little bit more income into this property to make sure that it cash flows. All right, so this is my kitchen, and I will admit that I actually like the downstairs kitchen a little bit better. Uh, this kitchen still has all the same appliances, but I just think the downstairs one looks a little bit prettier, but I chose to live upstairs 
even though I like that downstairs unit a little bit better because I didn't want to hear footsteps of tenants walking above me. But after you guys see the entire unit upstairs and downstairs, leave me a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite and if you think I made the right decision. The layout upstairs is just a slight bit different than the layout downstairs. We have this dining room here, but we actually have a hallway that connects to the living room going through these double doors. And the bedrooms and bathroom are in the back as well. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Rather than having the Jack and Jill style bathroom like we did downstairs where the bathroom separates the two bedrooms, this upstairs unit actually has a hallway. We've got some linen storage here, but because of this hallway, it actually makes the bathroom quite a bit smaller. Okay, you can't really see much. This bathroom is pretty small, but it does still have really nice tile. And again, this is a downside to living upstairs as opposed to that really big, nice bathroom downstairs. But there is one more thing that I want to show you guys, which I think really sells this upstairs unit. All right, so we've got this super spacious upstairs living room that I love. Love this new sectional, can watch TV, hang out. There's plenty of windows. But the thing that I really, really wanna show you guys and really the selling point to moving upstairs and not hearing footsteps above me is the sunroom. Let's go check it out. So this is my favorite room in the entire house. This sunroom sits right above the front porch. It's lined with windows. I'm not covering these windows. I'm gonna leave them open like this. I got two of the same couch so that I could put one in here. And I just love to sit up here, relax, look out the window, let the sun beat down on me. I'm gonna get some plants to put in here and kind of turn this into like a little, I guess, escape for myself. Um, so I'm really excited about what this room will become, but now that you've seen the entire house, let me know which unit you like better and if you think I made the right decision by moving upstairs and having my unit double as an Airbnb while putting a long-term tenant downstairs. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you turn on the notifications so you can see the videos that come out next. I forgot to show you guys, but the way that you get into this unit the second way we're upstairs, there's the dining room, there's this hallway that leads to the living room and the sunroom, and this leads to a set of outside steps. Which shows you kinda the second way you can get in. It's pretty cool. That is downtown Tulsa. All of this land is set to be developed. Don't know what they're gonna be putting there, but they're putting something. And, uh, yeah, so this is the second way that you can get into the house. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around to the end. If you made it this far, comment and let me know.